As brands move from bricks to clicks, BrandAid provides expert resources and insights. Welcome to the BrandAid video conversation. Because one of the things that I've seen um, looking back over you know, my practice is clients end up with trademarks. They may ultimately be able to somehow get it registered in some limited form, either with a logo or whatever, but then when they have to sue someone is when the problem is. Sure. Because what they don't understand is, is that they have a higher mm -hmm. burden of sure. proof in court to prove that before a court's going to enforce that as a trademark. Right, and you have to show that there really is consumer recognition and some of the ways in, in a litigation might be, for example, taking a survey, but those things are very, very expensive. Um, and so it, it's a combination of being short-sighted and far-sighted. And, and oftentimes companies can have an entire life of a product and never have litigation. And sometimes they can get away with it uh, and have the opportunity to build up the, what we call the secondary meaning, the development of consumer recognition and distinctiveness over time. But sometimes you don't have the luxury because something is, is a new and a hot term and a hot field and everybody wants to jump on it uh, all at once. Uh, uh, exactly. There's these terms that sort of become ubiquitous in society right. overnight. Sure, well Boston Strong unfortunately is, a, is an example. I say unfortunately because it led directly from the, the terrible tragedy at, at the Boston, Boston Marathon this past April. But um, immediately thereafter, as a rallying point within the Boston community, everyone started using the phrase Boston Strong. And it appeared at sporting events and at other public events, and, and signs were going up all over town. And at the same time, being the entrepreneurial nation of capitalists that the <laughs> United are. States is, that we are, people all of a sudden started wanting to get trademark rights. And uh, people were filing trademark applications. And for Boston Strong. For Boston Strong. Uh, on T-shirts and mugs and posters and that sort of thing. Um, unfortunately, trying to capitalize on, obviously, a, a, a terrible event. Um, and the question is, is it too late? Sometimes the, the barn door can open so quickly and there's so much ubiquity to the use of a phrase. No one person either could or should, and some people would say should in this instance, be able to take advantage of what's now in the public domain almost overnight. 